pick number nine. Moving on to topic number nine, and we're down to the NASCAR top four here at the end of the season. You got Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, and of course, uh, Martin Truex, or Carson Truex, excuse me, Carson Truex Jr. as the top four NASCAR drivers here headed to the championship Sunday. Brandon, who you got for NASCAR championship over the weekend? Martin Truex Jr., Martin Truex Jr., but then you also got Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, and then Chase Elliott. I'll tell you what, you've got some great experience out of these top four, and they've earned their way into the final round of four to earn their way to have a championship fight here at Phoenix Raceway. And I'll tell you what, we don't talk about much NASCAR on this show. We have in the past, but this is a great topic here when you're talking about the final four fighting over the championship, and we're talking about one race one night, like basically, you know, 500 miles of who's going to be the champion and the big dog in the end. And like I said, you've got some great experience here with Denny Hamlin, a guy that's been around NASCAR Cup for a long time. I believe he's got 38 career wins somewhere in that range. One of the best drivers, I think, currently still on the grid. One of the oldest guys, so still proving that he can get it done. Then you got Martin Truex Jr., the 2017 cup champion looking to get another championship in his belt you got kyle larson who has arguably been the hottest driver of the year getting nine wins so far this year he's been on absolute fire in that hendrix motorsports car but then you got the fan favorite chase elliott the defending champion looking to you know go back to back and win another championship i've got to say that's my pick for the win man i love me some chase elliott that's the guy I'm picking first. In my order, I'm, I'm going for Chase Elliott. I'm going for Denny Hamlin second. And then it's a toss-up between uh, Kyle Larson and Martin Truex for third because I like Truex with all that experience, but Kyle Larson has been on fire this year. I will say that. But, man, I, I'm going to root for that number nine car and Chase Elliott. I think he's got a great chance of going back-to-back -back and winning another NASCAR Cup championship on Sunday at Phoenix a great racetrack that, you know, is going to provide some great scenery too. And I'll tell you what, the NFL matchups, unless you've got NFL Sunday ticket, I was looking at the NFL games. They're not that great on Sunday. So I'll tell you what, I'll have to be watching myself first off F1 at Mexico, but then I'll also be watching this title championship fight in NASCAR in their final round of the season too, like final race, you know, final round, for the championship, all four of them battling it out. And I'll tell you what's different from obviously F1 to NASCAR is in NASCAR, they don't mind bumping and grinding and trading some paint and maybe even spinning somebody out if they have to, to go get the win. So this is going to be an exciting time seeing these four battle it out. And I believe like a field of 35 cars that they're going to have to battle their way through. But like I said, my vote is going for the fan favorite Chase Elliott to win another title. Yeah, I want to fire up Talladega Nights right now with Ricky Bobby, just hearing about all this stuff going on <laughs> boogie, over boogie, the weekend. <laughs> Magic man. You, now you see him, now you don't. Uh, yeah, I. you know what? The, the, I, I'm going to take Kyle Larson because I just think he's been so unbelievable this year. You mentioned the nine wins. He has more wins this year than the other three drivers combined. The other three drivers combined for eight wins. I think he's got something like, 25 out of the 35 top 10 finishes this year as well. Never mind just the nine titles. So, you know, he's been so good this season. And you would think that this would just carry over and he would continue his dominating run. He's been on fire, like you mentioned. And I'd love to see, you know, when you have such a, a great season overall, I do like, you know, capping it off with a championship. I love seeing yep. teams who are so good all year, you know, finish it off at the end of the season. We all have upsets. We all love. Uh, uh, teams and, and players and, and athletes that come from behind and, and to win. But I, I just love seeing an unbelievable season capped off with a title. Larson is going to be my pick. Um, you know, I know, I know Denny Hamlin's got a lot of experience in these situations and so does Chase Elliott. So those two guys are going to give them a fight, but I, I, I think it's going to be Larson. He's been so good this year. He's been unbelievable all season long, consistent from bookend to bookend that I'm taking Larson over the weekend. No, I love it. I think that's a great call. And I love how you're saying you like you want to see him actually finish it up. He's had such a great season. You just want to see him finish it and get that final W. 
But I've got to tell you, I think the bigger, better story is Chase Elliott coming out of nowhere and getting his second title back to back and saying, guess what? The big dog is still here. The number nine car is the defending champion. And guess what? You're going to have to beat the defending champion to actually, you know, take it yourself. We've always said that, right? In the title fights, you've got to beat the champion to actually right. call yourself the champion. And I get it. He's, he's beat him a lot this year. But now it's for all of it. It's for the big one. It's for the title. So if Kyle Larson can pull it off, then he will rightfully have earned it. But I've still got to be rooting for that number nine car and that souped up Chevy and Chase Elliott. And I'll tell you what, we love rivalries. He's had himself, a, Chase Elliott's had himself a great rivalry with Kevin Harvick these last few weeks where they've been exchanging some funny comments <laughs> off the track, especially Chase Elliott has said a lot of funny stuff about Kevin Harvick and calling him out. And so I, I love that about NASCAR. Not only, like I said, the trading paints, they're not, they're, they're not afraid to spin somebody out if you piss them off. So it's just really one of those things where you're going to see all four of these guys attack and be in full attack mode and full send fighting for this championship on Sunday at Phoenix Raceway. And I can't wait to watch it. But let's move on to topic number 10 tonight. The Celtics are stumbling. 